exercise 24. In this exercise, we take a look at Creo's capabilities with surface modeling and importing an actual uh, bitmap image or actually JPEG image in, and tracing around it to create this surface of the spoon. Okay, so let's begin. Go to File, New. And let's go ahead and we're going to name this E24. We first begin by selecting the front plane and starting the sketch. You want to first bring in and, and um, know in advance how large the object you're working on is. So in this case, it's going to be about six inches. So take the line tool, drop in a vertical line. Set it to the six inches. And then you can go ahead and just hit OK. I'll turn off my plane so you can see this a little bit easier. OK. And at this point, now we can drop in our images. To do this, you go to View and find the model display. And underneath there, you'll find images. Select the plane you want to drop the image on. I'll actually first select uh, add a little cactus there and then go select the plane you want to drop it on. And you just have to search for the part. I shouldn't say part, but for the images. And you should have probably a front and a right side at least to work with. So I'm going to select the front and hit open. You can see it drops in. And we can see our line that we use for the scale. What we can do here is, in this case, I want to get this aligned where it's centered, and then also on that little edge there, it's a tangent edge. You could grab this dot, which is really helpful. You can grab it, put it right on that point. And now, if you scale it, it should not. Uh, you should be able to scale it to that line without any sort of movement or transition. Okay, that's it. Hit OK. Now go ahead and do repeat the steps again. Go back to Model Display Images. Um, click on Add, and this time select the right plane. And we're going to go ahead and find that same file, but this time we want the right side bit JPEG image. And notice the file, uh, all types of files that are in here. You can search for TGA, TIFF, Bitmap, PNG. Hit open. And we're going to go to the right view orientation. And pretty much do the same thing. I want to line this up at the bottom where we see our little tangent edge. Get that right on that edge. And move the red dot over to it. And now we can just rotate it. It's not going to be quite 90 degrees. You actually want it to intersect a little bit. If it's 90 degrees, it's going to be too far away from the end. So then just grab this, drag it up. There we go. That's it. Hit OK. Now you have front and the right side views. We're going to begin by tracing the front view on the left left side. So I'm going to select the front plane and go to model start a new sketch. For the base, because we want a nice smooth transition from this little end of the spoon to the top, right here in alignment, draw zoom up to this and draw just a vertical center line so we could align a tangent to it as we draw our spline. Take the spline tool, and on that end there, click, and quickly get away from the center line so you don't have to keep snapping to it. And I'm a believer that less is more as far as spline points when you can help it. It's a lot easier to control and it looks smoother. And then when you get to these edges here where there's a bend in it, you're going to have to pull out more. And I'm just going to 
accidentally snapped that center line. Uh, I'll go ahead and fix that in a moment. Now, when you get up here, stop before you get to the end. You want it a little bit of a distance away, and actually have it come out a little bit like this, because you're going to want to probably trim the end off, because it comes off kind of strange. If you want to thicken it eventually, it might have some issues. That middle click. This one, the middle click a couple times. Get rid of that relationship there. Just make sure you didn't jazz anything up too much here. Okay, let's move it over. And finally, go to tangent under constraint and add a tangent constraint between your spline and the vertical sound line. And that's it. Hit the green check mark. So now we have our outer edge. Now we're going to go ahead and select the right plane and start a sketch. And this time we're going to follow this edge here on the inside because that there's a bevel on the top. So let's go again with the spline tool. Right in the center here, just follow that up. Okay. When you get to the bends, you can put more points in to control it better. And then we sweep here. Now we don't want to follow the ladle at the bottom of the spoon. We actually want to follow this top edge. That ladle section is going to be for our middle. And this is going to extend out. There looks pretty good. Middle click. And again, if you want to use a center line to constrain this tangent so it's vertical, not a bad idea. Come out smoother then. Once we get add some constraints on our spikes blend that we'll put in at the end. Okay, hit the green check mark. Okay. Now we can take that. We're going to use that curve that we just drew as our tool here. We'll extrude it, flip it so it actually goes underneath the curve that we slipped through on the side there. As long as it goes beyond that curve, you're in good shape. Okay, now we can go ahead and use the project tool. And I'm going to reference here, we want to project the sketch. So select that sketch right here. And the surfaces, in this case it's just one surface, so we can just select it. You'd have to hold control for the multiple surfaces. And then the direction. We're going to turn on our planes. And once we got that, we can just select the front plane. And what you'll see is a little arrow, and it looks like it's projecting our sketch out there. That's fine. But just to be on the safe side, I've seen strange things happen. Direction. I'll project it down onto the surface and hit the green check mark. And we have a 3D guide curve for the outer edge of the spoon. Now we need to select the right plane again, start a new sketch, and we're going to draw this next center line, this next spline up the top here. And Follow that through and get away from that center line as soon as you can. As you saw, I accidentally snapped to it earlier. Start putting in several points when it gets to the bend. And then this is where you follow the ladle section down below. Extend it out a little bit further. And click. Okay, if you need to straighten it out, remember you can always move the points. But it looks good. Go ahead and hit OK. Now we want to project, or actually we want to sweep those. Actually, we could get rid of this. Don't delete this. Let's actually hide this surface. We don't need that. Alright, now at this point we're going to go ahead and make our 
sweep. So click on sweep. Surface. Make sure you select surface. Sweep is surface. References. Look in here. You're going to select that center section you just drew. So hold. Uh, actually, first select that. Then hold control. Oh, and be sure that this little arrow is on the back end. If it's up in the front, just click on the arrow head, the pink arrow head, and it'll flip it. And then hold control and select the outer edge that you drew. There we go. Now you're going to click on sketch, create a or edit sweep section. Click on that. All right from here, it might be a little challenging to see what you're sketching. I like to kind of rotate it around a little bit so I can see that end of the spoon there. And this is all you do. You take a spline. Now don't try using an arc. Arcs, in this case, it's going to go from con convex to concave. And splines can handle that type of geometry, but arcs and lines can't. So be sure you use a spline. Connect to this end here. Connect to that center. And then out here somewhere, kind of click and a middle click. So you have three points. Now take a center line and right at the center there, draw a center line. And that's so you can now add a symmetric relationship between the two sides. So click here, click on this end point, this end point. And they should be aligned. Look at the little blue arrows. And hit OK. We should start to see our sweat profile. If you're not seeing it, it's a possibility maybe you um, have a ripple in, in it. It's just too complex. Or if you didn't extend the, if you didn't extend this center further beyond this edge, some, or if they're connected and actually intersecting, I've seen issues with that. So just be careful with that. I'll just make sure it's disconnected a little bit of distance away. And now we can go ahead and hit the green check mark to apply, and we've got our surface, our spoon. Now this end over here, what we're going to do is we're going to take the top plane and go to the plane tool and offset it. We just grab this little pointer here, this point, and drag it out. It should be about a half inch. And it looks actually a little bit further. We're going to trim that off anyway, so. I want to make it like 0.59 or something. That looks pretty good. Hit OK. Now start a sketch on that surface. And again, I'm going to rotate it around so I'm looking at it from this direction. Take the center line tool again. And at the center, draw a vertical center line. And now just draw a very small spline, a small section. And be aware that this is probably going to bend downward. If we looked at the uh, the right side view is probably down here somewhere. So just draw a little arc like that. Got symmetric, so automatically, which is a nice shot. Okay, since we have that, actually, maybe it's bent a little bit too much. Let's see. Now that'll work. Okay, so hit OK. And now you're going to go, have to select the front plane again, start a sketch, and just draw a line here to here and there, essentially for your trajectory. OK. And now we should be able to go to Sweat Blend. It hopefully picked your line that you just drew. If not, go ahead and select that. Make sure it's set to create a surface. Go to References, and you're going to go ahead and um, actually this is all set for you. Go to Sections, Selected Sections, select this edge first. Okay. Go to Insert and select the next. Little sketchy drew. And I'm not seeing a preview, which is usually not a good sign. I think it's because I went backwards. Let me hit remove here. Let's start that again. I'll select this side first. Alright, so that's not working. 
on a second. Let's make sure. Ah, went to the wrong one. Okay, so now let's remove that. Selected sections. Hold control, select that. Actually, it's not coming up. I think maybe I might have to have that line attached there. Because you're supposed to get insert here. Like that. Let's try that one more time. We'll go from this. Flip that. Hold on, I'm going to cancel. I'm going to start over on that. Sweat blend, surface, references, going to be our line there. I have it come out this way. Okay, now I go to sections, selected sections. And now I'm going to go ahead and select this edge. Problem is I'm in control when I'm doing it. That's not helpful. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Um, that one I seem to be having a few problems, but essentially, as you can see here, this is. When it is completed, the swept blend should come out like you see there. Now, to get rid of the images that you have inside there, it's just a matter of now going to back to view, and then if you go to model display images, you can now click on them and then right click. And you should be able to actually delete them. Click on the image. And let's hide it. Click on it and hide. I will turn off the planes. Your spoon should be done. And that concludes this exercise.